The unemployment rate in Nigeria has doubled over the past five years, despite steps taken by governments to create jobs. The situation has become more worrisome as the new statistics released by the International Labour Organization, that's the ILO, estimates that the number of unemployed young people worldwide will reach 75 million by the end of this year. In our big story tonight, AIT's Nkirun Wokedi examines rising unemployment in Nigeria, the challenges and measures that must be taken to end it. One major challenge that is confronting youths in Nigeria is the problem of getting a job, as thousands of them, mostly graduates, roam the street in search of jobs. Many can be seen at newspaper stands looking for job openings. Out of 8.1 million youths in Nigeria are unemployed. This represents about 42% of the youth unemployment. It was difficult. I spent three years at home getting, looking for a job before I got a job. We, we graduate tens of thousands of people from the universities and polytechnics. We also know that there are no um, industries or, or any um, private sector driven program to absorb this massive turnout of graduates. It's not really enough like that because it's not so easy for a person to secure a job now. If you're a graduate, but it's not easy to secure a job. But at all, at all, you just have to manage anyone you see to just sustain your future. Meanwhile, survey by the National Bureau of Statistics put the general unemployment rate at 23.9 percent of the active labor force, an increase of 1.8 million unemployed people at the end of 2011. Analysts blame the rising unemployment rate on the collapse of the manufacturing sector, which is said to be the highest employer of labor. In Nigeria, it has become so expensive to manufacture, and a lot of members of the real sector are either closing down and going back to their various homes, or they are moving to neighboring countries. Others say that most university graduates are unemployable because they lack the knowledge and skills needed. You have an economy that is not absorbing its graduates. The graduates themselves are not employable. So it's something that is so fundamentally you know, complex. In a bid to sustain economic growth, there is a growing global concern on youth unemployment as global economy is being threatened by the challenges of creating productive jobs. Recently, the International Labour Organization has released its 2012 global employment data, which shows that young people have continued to be the most hit by job crisis, and majority of them are in Africa. The report disclosed that 74.8 million people in 2011 are unemployed worldwide, an increase of more than 4 million since 2007. If you look at what is going on in the country today, what is causing is unemployment. Otherwise, if those people that are caught, that are fighting up and down, throwing bombs up and down, doing this, do that, all this armed robbery, whatever, if you look at it critically, if they, some of them have work, they will not go into Nigeria has a nominal gross domestic growth of $240 billion, an average of 7% annual growth rate. It was rated as one of the fastest growing economies by the International Monetary Fund, but this growth has not reflected on the lives of the people. In 2004, percentage of people supposed to be Nigeria was 54, and Nigerian statistics has put it now at 69 percent, and yet GDP growth is increased. Something is definitely very wrong. In a bid to address the unemployment problem, the government in 2010 set up a national committee on job creation, headed by Ali Kudangote. The government also flagged off a 50 billion naira seed fund for job creation under the scheme known as Youth Enterprise with Innovation in Nigeria. But many say these programs have not been able to tackle unemployment in Nigeria. Experts say job creation can only succeed in a conducive business environment. When your doors are knocked on by every government organization and it's all bills, you don't get any letter or anything from government and it's an incentive that 
Oh, well done for opening this place. We give you this, we give no way. To tackle the challenges of unemployment, managers of the economy have also been advised to focus attention on encouraging small businesses as well as agriculture. So the way forward for women is certainly in the entrepreneurial and SME area. You've got to start your own wealth creation. We keep encouraging the government, invest heavily in infrastructure development. Because if you do, it opens up the entire country. As Nigerians wait patiently for a country in which they can readily find jobs after acquiring knowledge and skills, government must muster the political will to encourage private sector participation for effective job creation. Mkiru Mukedi, AIT News, Lagos.